um, team and um, coach with Jan Flynn and had that opportunity to be out there being recognized. And one of the things that we had always, Coach Hendricks and I had always stressed to the girls is that you just cannot explain the, the pride um, that you have for your school and your community and just how much fun it is to make it to that point. And so I brought my ring, uh, the 1997 ring, and shared it with the girls. And you know they had set these lofty goals and I just said, you know, this is it. This is what you want, this is what you gotta work for. And it was great getting back together with those girls from the 96 and 97 team. And, you know, a lot of them have been in touch and they're just wishing well to these um, girls for this weekend. And just for the girls yourselves, coaches all year has talked about just this summer after that loss to Bishop England that y'all sort of been a team on a mission. Sort of talk about how that mindset started from the summer until now. Well, going into it, Bishop England, we had a big target on their backs. We really wanted to beat them again since they ended our season last year. But then after the Bishop England game, we knew that we were going to play them early on in the playoffs. And so our end goal would be state. And so we made it to this point, and we're excited for it. This time. I think we've had the goal to beat Bishop England since we lost to them last year. It's um, always been a huge goal of ours. And um, one of our biggest goals this season, we wrote it down on every single goal list we had, was to make it to state, was to win state. So we're all really excited about that, that we get the chance to play. Coach Sheely, sometimes it's been um, Midland teams not making it to the state championship in volleyball, but mm -hmm. now you have two from the same county, and uh, I think it's it's been a lot. I think 15 years since the Midland teams won that state championship. What would it mean to uh, to add, add your name back to the list. What does it say for the pro volleyball program to our I think there's been a, um, more determination with uh, the girls stepping in, bogus private lessons, just the year-round practices, being involved in the club, uh, the expectation um, with our Lexington One school district. You know, we have a lot of kids involved in the outside um, programs as well as our our high school teams, and they just continue to push and excel, and I think that's really picking up um, the level of play in the Midlands area. To that point, Coach, I talked to you about it the other day, where right now the District 1 itself is 12-3 and three in the postseason. Just what has you been able to do? What have, I guess, really the coaches have been able to do to sort of get these programs at such a high level? Once again, encouraging girls with their year round um, and being involved in um, the extra lessons and the commitment, being dedicated. Some have begun to specialize uh, in seeing how successful the upper state has been. We knew in our area that we needed to push in order to um, step up and be able to make it to the finals. To coach a part of Powdersville, just Upstate, looking at your program at St. Joseph's, it seems like club volleyball playing year-round seems to be something that 